Hey everybody, I have Saul here, and here at Channel Frederator, I'm joining you today to talk about some of the most influential Simpsons episodes that have aired in the roughly 14 billion years the show has been on the air. These episodes may be influential either from their in-episode content or the impact that the episode had on the real world. So let's stop futzing around and let's dive right in. Number 17, The Way We Was. How can we not start with this one? After all, this is how The Simpsons began. Homer and Marge meet in high school, Homer instantly falls in love with her, and the rest is just history. Long, long, seemingly unending history. Number 16, Treehouse of Horror 6. While this may not be the beginning of the long tradition of Halloween-themed episodes, it is certainly influential in its third segment, Homer Cubed, which is done almost entirely in CG. While nowadays this CG is aged about as well as an unrefrigerated piece of bacon, for the time it was extremely impressive and set the bar for other shows who chose to use CG. Unprocessed fish sticks. Number 15, Deep Space Homer. This episode is out of this world. Literally. Homer beats out Barney Gumble to become an astronaut, and with Buzz Aldrin as a guest star, and a timeless scene with anti-gravity chips, how could this not be remembered fondly? And I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. Number 14, Blame It on Lisa. This episode's influential nature comes not so much from its content as opposed to the controversy it invited. This episode pissed off the Brazilian government so much for its portrayal of negative stereotypes and wrongly placed cultural references that they actually planned to sue Fox for airing it. I wonder what kind of lawyer would represent an episode of a TV show? Number 13, Homer. Why is Homer so stupid? This episode explains why. As a young, naive child, Homer stuck a bunch of crayons up his nose, but one got stuck in his brain, causing his subhuman intelligence. When the crayon gets removed, Homer gets the intelligence of an average man, and hilarity ensues. Is there no place for the man with the 105 IQ? Number 12, Stark Raving Dad. Two words. Michael Jackson. I mean, yeah, when you know the fate of this famed man, it may seem silly nowadays, but put yourself back in the early 90s, and if you weren't alive yet, just try to picture it. The Simpsons and Michael Jackson basically ruled the pop culture world. And when you bring the two together, you get something certainly memorable. Not to mention a super catchy song. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Number 11, Grade School Confidential. This episode marks the beginning of Principal Skinner and Edna Krabappel's torrid romance, as well as a certain revelation about Principal Skinner's past that, well, nobody really needed to know. Despite that though, Edna and Seymour kinda are perfect for each other, wouldn't you say? One's an anal retentive mama's boy, and the other is a cynical divorcee with a sharp tongue and a smoking addiction. Almost Shakespearean it is. Number 10, The Blunder Years. Has anybody ever considered The Simpsons to be dark? Probably not, right? Well, this episode definitely takes a grim turn when Homer uncovers a repressed memory of the time he found a corpse when he was 12, which turns out to be the body of Wayland Smithers' father. Yikes. Cut to something happier, would you? Number 9. Krusty Gets Busted Ah, and of course, who could forget the introduction of Sideshow Bob? Considering he's been trying to kill Bart for over 25 years now, apparently nobody. While this isn't technically the first episode with Sideshow Bob, it is the episode that turned him into the bloodthirsty but well-spoken psychopath we all know and love, and he'll be trying to exact his revenge on Bart for many years to come. Number 8, Mr. Plow. Oh, Mr. Plow, that's my name, that name again is Mr. Plow. While all of us had that jingle dancing in our head like sugar plums come Christmas back in 1992, it's undeniable that this episode left all who were concerned with a warm smile to get them through the chilly winter months. Number 7, The Itchy and Scratchy and Poochie Show. This episode marks the infamous introduction of Poochie, the hip rockin' surfer who's totally in your face. When Poochie joins the destructive duo of Itchy and Scratchy, he's met coldly by audiences and is quickly retconned. But that doesn't mean Poochie doesn't show up every now and then to take the brunt of some of Itchy and Scratchy's malevolence. And don't forget, kids, to always recycle. To the extreme! Number 6, And Maggie Makes Three. Oh, Maggie, will you ever actually age in an episode that's not a dream, a premonition, or something non-canon? I seriously doubt it, but this episode shows a little bit of Homer's sweet, fatherly side, and it's probably one of the nicest, but also saddest moments in all of Simpsons history, because Homer's fated to do a job he hates to support the family he loves. Aww. Number 5, Alone Again, Natura Diddley. Hens love roosters, geese love ganders, everyone else loves Ned Flanders. So the only thing that makes sense is to kill off his wife, Maud. 
Actually, given that The Simpsons is a cartoon known for its longevity, it's quite a shock when a character actually dies off. And sad to say, but it had to be poor old Ned's beloved. Number 4. Bart the Daredevil Bart wants to become a daredevil? Yeah, not too important, but that's not what makes this episode so influential. What makes it influential is Homer trying to jump the Springfield Gorge, only to plummet into it in one of the most pants-peeingly hilarious sequences of the early 90s. Many a person will tell you that their first memory of The Simpsons is that guy was falling down the cliff for a long time. It was hilarious. It sure was. Number 3. Homer's Enemy You know how I said that The Simpsons isn't really a dark show? Yeah, that's kind of obvious. But this episode in particular takes a look at the life of Homer Simpson, who's had more jobs, won more awards, and accomplished more goals in his lifetime than any of us ever could. From the perspective of Frank Grimes, a man who had to struggle every single day of his life to make a living. Whoa, man. And if that weren't enough, the end result of this one hardworking man's analysis of Homer's life ends in him straight up killing himself. I think the writers may have gotten up on the wrong side of the bed that day. Number 2. Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire and of course, we couldn't leave out the episode that started it all, right? With its choppy animation and overly saccharine ending, one must always pay respects to the roots of one's history. And who boy did this episode kick off quite a giant, let me tell you. Number one, who shot Mr. Burns part one and part two? What happens when the wealthiest and evilest man in town steals oil, ruins a town, injures a dog, and blocks out the sun? Well, he gets shot, of course, but by who? This episode drove a good portion of the world insane, and everyone was asking the same question. Who shot Mr. Burns? With real, actual money gambled on the revelation of the killer's identity by people who really, actually existed, this episode proved that the attempted murder of a fictional character can bring people together, as well as divide them. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this look at the 17 most influential Simpsons episodes. I, I of Saul, have been your host today, and if you'd like to check out more of my videos, you can click the annotation there to take a look-see at my channel. I do reviews on anything animated, and I release a new review every Friday. Plus, if you'd like to see more Tuned Up episodes, you can click the other annotation in the video to subscribe to Channel Frederator. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and don't forget, Frederator loves you.